once you are an entrepreneur, you are obviously an entrepreneur. And I went back to what I love most, coaching young people with entrepreneurial spirit, helping them to increase, to develop their skills. And my added value is my experience, my knowledge and my network. So I listen to this. I'm scouting digital and tech trends around the world in order to bring it to you. And I've helped numerous companies to set up ecosystems of digital products and services and to increase their reach with attention hacking. Hey guys, we are here with Carsten Maschmeyer. We are really, really happy about to have you here on board. Um, for those who may not know him, the two or three, uh, Mr. Maschmeyer is known for his role in the German Shark Tank. But what a lot of people don't know, that he was a tremendous successful entrepreneur um, and did also large exits. Then my big question first would be, um, why are you still building such a, a great corporation even though you have already uh, the, the, the large exit behind you? In 1988 I founded AWD, the first and later also the biggest independent financial advisory in Europe. We expanded in 11 countries, we had 10,000 advisors, more than 2 million customers with 10 million contracts. We were listed at the MDAX of the German Stock Exchange and my exit was in 2008. We achieved in 2007 more than 18 billion top-line revenues. Swiss Life, uh, Swiss yeah. Netherlands' biggest insurer, bought my stake and after that, once you are an entrepreneur, you are obviously an entrepreneur. And I went back to what I love most coaching young people with entrepreneurial spirit, helping them to increase, to develop their skills. And my added value is my experience, my knowledge and my network. What also a lot of people don't know is that you are really deeply rooted in the insurance industry. You have worked several decades in the insurance industry so that people can also draw from that. Yeah, I know, of course, the pain and the emotion of the customers, the needs of the salespeople, and the importance of the efficiency of the back office. So I think that I have the dream insurance company in my mind and we will not see a revolution, a lot of evolutions, and I add it together. The Maschmeyer Group has a venture arm. Um, what kind of investments, what kind of startups are you looking for to invest in? When we started 10 years ago, we just invested in later stage companies because we said the ticket size was too low. But the ticket size in the beginning has the highest leverage effect. So we have pre seed seed with our Mushroom Group Ventures in South Park, San Francisco. We invest up to $500,000 in American early stage uh, companies. And in Europe, we have Olsen Capital, later stage investments, average ticket size 7.5 million. So we can go through all the phases of the growth of the founders and of his uh, fundraising life cycle. My next question is what kind of startups in and outside the insurance and banking and finance space have you impressed in the last few months? In the last few months, I was totally impressed of two US startups, Observe AI, Artificial Intelligence for call centers, and Tomorrow, excellent company. In Europe, we are invested in XP Labs, darkroom documentation, yeah. the machine learns and read whether the customer wrote the letter, changes the address, bank account, yeah. so it's more efficiency because every startup must have a big advantage, something must be faster, cheaper, easier for customer or sales agents. You often emphasize how important it is for you the team of the founders. And why is that and how do you help these teams uh, and these startups? Indeed, I'm totally convinced that the team is everything. I hate teams, three people, same professor, same university. I prefer complementary teams. One is very good in tech, another one must be good in planning, 
and also minimum one person of the founding team must be a brilliant salesperson selling to customers, selling to corporation partners, selling to the press, selling to investors, selling to applicants because we are in the middle of a war for talents and the team is everything. We help them to increase their communication skills and sales performance because that is so important and they love our sales support. And uh, Carsten Marschmeier knows a few things about sales. Yes, that's my biography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had nothing, so yeah. I learned sales. And sales is everything because I prefer revenues than a capital increase. Capital increase can't be a substitute for less sales performance. During the last three decades, you have gathered detailed uh, insights into the European insurance market and beyond. Um, uh, my question is, what do you recommend uh, c and in insurance today that still hesitate to go all in on digital transformation? Sometimes it's like a catastrophe. The banks were sleeping. They were very late. Hopefully all the insurance companies will awake now. I think they have to become better in pricing, underwriting excellence, administration optimization, and they have to get more better understanding for data analytics, for social analytics and customer behavior. And those innovations will come from outside. There are two mistakes. Some insurance companies make the IT head responsible for innovation or the CFO. And he is just scared not to make a mistake. That's totally wrong. The impact will come from outside, out of the box, because the young people, they are looking from the other end, data driven, solution oriented. And that can be helpful. But if they recognize the startup for them and they invest or they buy it, they can do one further big mistake to put the speedboat on the tanker. Then you have not any more speedboat, then you have a slow tanker again. One question the audience probably is going to ask them if they uh, know you or they Google you and look you up what you are doing. Um, how do you manage in building and managing all your entrepreneurial activities and your family life? To be honest, the way I am living now wouldn't be possible 30 years ago. Of course I use the latest technology. Today it's not important where you are from where you work, so that's enormously helpful. On the other hand, I have great teams in Europe and also in our US team, the Marshmallow Group Ventures in South Park and San Francisco, Olsen Capital in Munich, Sieben Speed in Berlin. So you need the best teams, so you can delegate, and so I have the right life work balance. And to be honest, 30 years ago, I didn't know the term. I was so diligent, I wanted to succeed. I worked day and night and weekends. And I'm happy to use the time which I saved for my family, for my great sweet kids, for my wife and my friends and my passion gardening. I did not know that gardening, cool. Oh cool. yes, gardening makes me happy. There are so much researches if you work and if you outside in the nature you see the green the plants it makes you healthy it keeps you fresh hey guys it would help us a lot if you could hit the subscribe button down there and to make us also grow here on youtube thank you very much